What's up everyone, welcome back to yet another video. And in this video I'm gonna show you how to create an amazing Emma Piano beat using my new Essence Emma Piano Producer Bundle. So I'm gonna to try to create some awesome melodies, add some unique drums, and I'm gonna show you how easy this is by using the new Essence Producer Bundle. So let's dive right in. So let's start off by adjusting the BPM to 113. So let's open up Shaker Loops. So let's pick this one, sounds really cool. And then already let's add another percussion layer. So I've added some unique ones right here. So maybe, maybe let's use this one. Very simple. And by using those elements, we already add some texture to the background. So this makes it just way easier in the end. So right now let's add some drums. So we're already going to find the main rhythm for this Emma piano beat. So in this case, I'm not going to add a four by four kick rhythm. So I've added kick one, this one, and right now it sounds like this. So this is a rhythm which is often applied to those types of beats, very simple. And for example, in the end, when the log drum is coming in, you could switch up this rhythm to a simple four by four kick rhythm. But for the intro, I think this one is perfect. And right now I'm just going to drag in some random percussion samples. So right now let's add some percussion samples. So right now I've added multiple percussion layers, make sure to add some swings. So in this case, I've added 16% main swing. Let's have a listen. So you could simply add some more uniqueness to a drum loop like this. That we're not done yet. So in this case, I'm going to add, for example, a percussion which contains some more high frequencies. So a clap, so for example, something like this. So now it's time to add some closed and open heads. So within the folder, I've added closed heads, very short ones. So I'm adding a closed head, so a very short one. And then I'm adding an open head, which has a longer tail and is often applied to Amy piano beats. So for example, one like this, where there is a very hard ticking sound in the beginning and it contains a lot of high frequencies. So I'm adding this closed head, very short one. Then I'm adding this open head to which pitches down. Then I'm using another open head. And then I'm layering those ones with another crash, also another symbol. So when we layer all these elements, Then we're adding some more symbols which are more present. So for example, this rhythm from open at 17 and a second one. With so this one contains less high frequencies and plays in a different key. And this makes it sound just a little bit more interesting. So by switching it up using multiple open heads, you could create a very cool top layer for your drum loop. Okay, so that's it when it comes to creating the drums. I've showed you all the layers and right now we're gonna start off by building the melody elements. So first I'm gonna start off with a sonar element from Purity. You could find it under slow synth and then sonar. So this beat is created in F minor. So you simply add the root node. So let's draw it in. So that's it, so right now let's add another element which adds some more ambience. So I found this really cool vocal kind of synth in Serum. This one. Let me add it right here. Very, very cool and unique element. Something which I normally wouldn't add to a beat like this, but in this case, why not? Then we're adding another element from Serum, which is kind of a plug pad kind of sound. So right now let's drag it in. So again, we're using the root note, which is F, but maybe pitch it up one octave. And then we're going to add an A. This. So next up, we're going to add an ARP. And this keeps it just a little bit more interesting. So in this case, I'm going to use Purity again. So I'm going to use this ARP, Ever preset, this one. And I'm going to add it at F right here. So 
So by adding all these layers, we add a lot of ambience and texture to the drum loop. And still those elements are in the background. So they are not the main elements, which we're gonna add right now. So in this case, a main element for an Amber Piano beat like this will be a bass plug. And this one works all the time. It's a bass plug from the Fruity DX10. You can find it on the presets and then select bass plug, which is the second one. So in this case, I've added this bass line. Sounds so cool and it's perfect for a transition to, for example, the part where the lock drum is coming in. So make sure to turn up the velocity all the way so you add enough power and volume to this bass plug. So that's it for the main part for this beat. So right now, let's build the lock drum. So I'm going to disable some of the elements and I'm going to start off by using a new element. So I've used the Morphine and I'm using the Vintage Radio preset. This one. And we could simply use this right here. Or you could eventually pitch it up one octave. So there are unlimited possibilities when it comes to adding a layer like this. And this one is very basic, but you just have to use it in the main part or when the log drum is coming in. Then, I'm, then if you see Prophet VS, this one, and this sounds a little bit similar to a brass, and we're using it right here at F. So right now I'm gonna add the log drum. So I'm gonna open up the Fruity DX10 presets. So presets specifically designed for the Fruity DX10. And in this case, I've used the log drum evolution preset. So now if you're not that inspired, for example, or you find it difficult to create the log drum midis, I've also added a MIDI files folder, log drum. And you could simply drag it in and then just make sure it fits the root notes, so in this case F. So let's have a listen. And then tweak it and in the end, for example, you could end up with something like this, very, very similar. So that's it. So right now, as you can hear, it contains a lot of mids, but not that much low frequencies. So I've added some unique 808 samples in the drums, 808. For example, use this one drag it into the project and layer it with the log drum. That sounds crazy. So as you can hear, you already add a lot of power and low frequencies to the log drum. And it's just very, very easy by using those samples. And of course you could tweak it, add some more distortion, but this is a great starting point. And then we could, for example, use a snare when the log drum is coming in. So I've added a lot of snare and rims. We could also use another layer to spice it up even more. So switching it up like this. Right, this short roll. And I'm adding this head roll to give it some more power and velocity. So let's have a listen. Background. So right now we built the main part. I'm adding an impact, for example, and some transitions right here. And then, for example, let's listen to the bridge part of this beat. Right here, the iron is in. The second step is coming in. So right now we're keeping it interesting by transitioning to a new element. So right here, the 808. coming in, automated it, the head's right here. So that's it, so for example, this is the 808 rhythm, and there's also a layer which should sound very, very recognizable. So it's just playing the log drum, and then just on one note, and right here, I've used a slide note, very simple trick pitch it down half an octave, you could simply stack the slide right here, add in the slide load like this, 
and then just adjust it to your preference. So right here. Sounds just very, very cool. Then I've added another main element. This one is called the Horidic from Mini Freak V. Very simple trans lead. And I've created this melody. Sounds very, very dark, but I think it's a great addition to this beat. And I've also reused this element for this simple layer, which is playing one octave lower. And you can keep it very simple by reusing the elements and creating a variety of melodies using just the same synth. So now let's listen to the main section when the lock drum is coming in. like the percussions on this one. It's right here. Vox is coming in again. And that's it for this project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out this full project, the FOP will be available for free. It's included in the free preview of the Asset Producer Bundle. And if you want to check out the full zip version, this one is included in the Essence Producer Bundle. So make sure to go and take a look. And with all being said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you have a great day, create some awesome MM Piano Beats, and see you next week.